Welcome back to another season of the Pack and Play Squad. Here are the rules. Rule number one, I cannot use the auction house. Every single player on this team must come from a pack or a set. Number two, every win is $75 and every playoff win is $100. We will use that money to buy packs to add to the team. And rule number three, our rage quit earns us a pack of our choice from the store. Hey, we good, you guys a brand new season with a fully reset team. And number one, I want to apologize. I'm sorry for letting you guys down last season and not making it through the playoffs. I don't often lose that early, but that sucked. And hopefully we can have an awesome bounce back season here. Now, number two, I did do one thing. I decided that for the pack and play squad, I can carry one player over from last season. And the player I chose to carry over is Sean Taylor. Now I know this isn't Wheel of Mud, this isn't a prestige player or anything, but I worked so hard last pack and play season to earn the Sean Taylor, and then I instantly lost the game. So I thought we should show him some justice, get him right back on the team, and I'm excited to use him with Crusher, mid zone KO, shutdown, and incredible abilities. And the timing for the pack and play squad is awesome. There's a brand new NFL draft promo with lots of gold. 99 some crazy good cards so this should be really exciting all right boys it is a first episode of the pack and play squad so we get a 300 dollars budget to build our initial team and after that we're on our own and we'll have to win games to earn anything else here's our first 150 dollars 18,500 points Let's see what we can do with it. Now, the limiteds are gold 99 Debo, gold 99 Tredavious White. Both would be incredible. So I don't hate the idea of looking for limiteds right now. I'm going to start with the eight times 93 plus NFL draft players. I haven't looked at the sets yet either, but hopefully the sets will have something realistic that we can attain. I love the animation on these draft players. We start out with a 95. Let's go. Our first ever poll is Michael Thomas Strong Safety. All righty. Our next one is Jack Sanborn. Yeah, we're getting into the end game here, boys. Listen, a hey, a dupe already. 95 Michael Thomas is a dupe. Now, I'm either going to quick sell him for the training to re-roll, or I got to look at the NFL draft sets. I can't get ahead of myself here. Either way, hey, man, what if I just what if I just pulled gold 99 Debo right now, man? That's what I'd be talking about. You know what's something I miss, boys? I really miss when they had a separate animation for the limited players. Like, when you'd pull something really, really good, the animation was just slightly tweaked. You know, the colors would be different an additional thing would pop out oh that was such a nice touch because the minute you saw that animation you knew something crazy was gonna happen you just didn't know what because right now this could be dog shitter i don't know i don't know if everybody shares that opinion with me but i do miss it so the eight times 93 plus actually a really really good one so i'm gonna do that again we got multiple 95s there so i'm definitely gonna i'm definitely gonna do this again takes us to 13,000 training so we could do one more big bundle or spread it out depending on what we're looking for we're gonna have an nfl draft theme team right now now, though. Logan Stenberg, another 95. Bobby Tanyan, a 93 tight end. I'll take that. There is a reroll as well. The reroll is 36,000 training for a 91 plus. That's very expensive for a 91 plus. So I think the idea there is you got to pull the gold 99 limiteds or potentially the other gold 99s. Otherwise, it's just not a good pack. I want to give a huge thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes. Eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lens, and eye exams, and you can shop with them online or in stores. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. And the reason they're the best of the best is the home try-on kit that I have right here. Warby Parker lets you choose up to five frames. They'll ship them to your house completely free. Then you can try the frames on, keep and buy the ones that you really like, and ship everything else back. They even include a prepaid shipping label. So here's my example right here. Here's my home try-on kit. I've got the Simon and Gold, the Cooper sunglasses, and the Fisher sunglasses here. So now that I've physically tried these on, see how I like them, I'll keep and pay for the ones I like. And using my prepaid shipping label, I'll ship the rest back to Warby Parker. If you wear glasses or sunglasses, you should be using Warby Parker. So you can try five pairs of glasses completely free when you go to warbyparker.com forward slash MMG. Take advantage. I highly recommend it. This is the best way to buy glasses and enjoy the rest of the video. Seen a decent amount. This is our last one here. More 93. So a couple 95s and another 93 there. I'm going to pop over to sets. So in sets, there are some really good gold 
times, like Gold 99 DK, Chad Greenway, I have a Neil Erlacher, Kevin Carter, Cam Newton. Ooh, I think Cam or DK probably be what I'd be going for. You need any 97 overall pass draft player. And to get the 97 pass draft player is this pack right here. And I've almost completed that pack. You just need four. Ah, you need two 95s a 93 and a 91 so i actually could complete this i just don't have a 91 so now all i really need is some 91s i think we're gonna get a gold 99 on our hands here all right i'm gonna do the 17 times nfl draft bundle this gives me two 97 plus players and the set will give me a 97 so i'm guaranteed at least one gold 99 on our opening video this is perfect yeah michael tom hey our first nfl draft bag is another michael thomas damn i'm getting a lot of him i think these are guaranteed to be 91 overall or better draft players so the fact we got a 90 95 there is fire. This will be a 91. All right, we're on our way to a gold 99. This is beautiful. Mark Ingram, Alvin Kamara. We got the Saints. Got some Saints duo right there. I like that. AKA Howie Long and Phil Haynes. Chase Young and John Ross has a card. Ooh, that might actually be a really good budget wide receiver because you know he's going to be crazy fast. I'm not impressed by these NFL draft packs right now. Pretty simple pack, a core elite. And a draft player, Stingley, Phil Haynes. The toppers here are going to be clutch for me. Mark Ingram, Ryan Jensen. Culpepper, Lyle Collins. Okay, now we're on to the toppers. So we have 195 plus and two 97 pluses. We're 100% getting a gold 99. We could get multiple though. If one of these is, is, is a gold 99 on its... Oh my God, I have so many Michael Thomas. If one of these two is a gold 99, I'm gonna have two gold 99s. This could be... This technically could be Debo. Like I could get Debo. Ooh, we get Brian Robinson 97. I don't know if I'm gonna end up using it, but we'll find out in our next... 97 plus draft player is a 99! Holy shit! Holy shit! Yo, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know anything about Chad Greenway. This is a gold 99 right outside linebacker. 94 speed, 95 excel, 99 tackle, 98 block shed, 93 finesse moves. Holy shit, what a beast. What's your hit power? 95 change of direction, 94 hit power, 95 play rec, 99 pursuit. This is a hell of a linebacker. I'm sure he gets awesome discounted abilities. I gotta use him on the squad. No question I gotta use him on the squad. Dude, what a beast. Gold 99 Chad Greenway. And then Brian Robinson was perfect because now I can go pick a gold 99 of my choice. I think I'm gonna get DK Metcalf, but... I still gotta go look. So we've used 150 of our initial 300, and I think we can get DK now. All right, we can do the set for a 97 overall draft past hero twice. So the 97 overall draft fantasy pack. Ooh, so there's Kenyon Green, Ryan Tannehill, Okuda, OJ Howard, Grady Jarrett, Brian Robinson, Brashad Perriman. Dude, I might put Brian Robinson at my halfback, and then Okuda at corner. Ooh, ooh. This is dope. So I'll do the set one more time. And now we can earn DK and get 397s back. Yes, sir. So my 397s that I just earned from sets, Brian Robinson, Kenyon Green, and Okuda. Give me gold 99 draft champion DK Metcalf. So who are we going to take here? Let's take Jeff Okuda. I love Okuda. He's a stud. We'll take Brian Robinson, our new starting halfback. And I'm going to scoop Kenyon Green to get an awesome offensive lineman. Yo, this is fire. So we got these three back, Robinson, Okuda and Kenyon Green. Robinson, 6'2", with 96 speed, 98 truck, 97 break tackle. And Okuda, 96 speed, 6'1", solid coverages, 99 jump. Very solid corner. And then, of course, we get the 99 DK Metcalf, 6'3", 98 speed, 99 jump. That's an insane wide receiver card, and I can't wait to use it. We also randomly got a game day pack from the field pass, so I don't see why I can't open this. It's pack and play squad, right? Hey, I'll just quick sell all of you for some training. I'll take it. And I have enough for another 97 overall fantasy pack. So let's add one more player to the squad. I'm going to pick up Grady Jarrett to start out my D-line. I almost wanted OJ Howard, but I'll take Grady Jarrett. Fast, 99 block shed, 97 power moves. Wow, that's a good 97 overall. And lastly, I'll do the 95 overall fantasy pack again. And I'm going to pick up Quinn Miners, a 95 right guard. So my O-line is starting to look pretty good. Just quick sold all my duplicates. That puts us at 240000 
20,000 training. We've got two gold 99s from just that first 150. We've got Sean Taylor, Grady Jarrett, Kenyon Green, Okuda, Brian Robinson, and some solid fill-in players. Now, keep in mind on Pack and Play Squad, I can only reroll with my training. I can't use my coins unless I earn the coins from a pack. So if I pull the limited and quick sold, I could use those coins, but the 11 million, I'm not allowed to touch. And the rest of our budget has been spent. That's all 300 for the first episode. We now have 19,000 Madden cash. I've got a lot of good players, but I don't have a quarterback. So I may have to grab Cam Newton, but I don't want my entire team to just be NFL draft players. One thing I do want to try is the Mission Mutt Bundle. The 91 plus plus Mission Mutt Pack has been absurdly good to me. It's how we pulled Tua. I was streaming earlier and I pulled Gold 99 Justin Simmons. Oh, it was amazing. So I'm going to do this. The 91 plus plus pack has a 24% chance of giving you a 91 overall player, but it also has a 24% chance of giving you a 98 or better overall player. So it's, the odds are crazy. The odds are honestly crazy. So we'll see what we can do with it. Ooh, interesting. What did I just pull? I'm not familiar with this card. 93 Marquise Goodwin. He is a Spacers Renegade crew member. He's got a bunch of fucking abilities and he's got 97 speed. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Zero AP short out human joystick and evasive? One AP playmaker, two AP route tech? Whoa, that's actually sick. I am using him for sure. What the fuck is this card? Dude, I, hey, that's the beauty of Packer Play, man. Just saw a card I've never seen my entire life, but I'm excited about it. Tressway, I now have a punter and a kicker, so that's also good. So I got Tressway and Will Lutz. Got Dobbs, who is now technically my starting quarterback. William Perry's actually a solid backup D tackle. Ooh. Ooh, what the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on with my packs right now? Whoa. Pulled Connor Williams. I got another one of these cards I've never seen. Why did I never pull these before, but all of a sudden I'm pulling them like crazy? I've opened a lot of Mission Mutt bundles and never seen these cards. I am rocking him and Marquise Goodwin on my offense, but I also pulled 96 Isaiah McKenzie. And Isaiah McKenzie, dude, I got these little wide receivers who are fast as fuck. It, oh, well, I got DK though still. Dude, DK... It's my big boy, then Isaiah McKenzie, Marquise Goodwin. I like, I love my wide receivers, actually. I don't gotta mess with it too much. The best part is I didn't even touch the 91 plus plus pack yet at all. This was a midfield pack, which must have been from the playoffs from last season. So I guess I'll just quick sell these. And then I, I still have these loyalty tokens from when I was doing Sean Taylor's challenges. I mean, listen, it's it's the pack and play squad and these are packs, so. All right, gentlemen, the moment of truth, the 91 plus plus and the 91 plus. I'm gonna do the 91 plus first because the odds in this are dog shit. So if I pull anything good here, I'm just cracked. Rashad White, who I already have, so I'll quick sell. And a 91 plus plus Mission Mutt player is gonna be 96. I'll take it. 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 Listen, could be a lot worse. Could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. Now, a 96 left guard. I already have Kenyon Green. I feel like I really can't use this man. Quick sells for 110K. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for a draft limited. I would love to get a draft limited. I think that goes so hard on our first episode. I still have 16,900 training. I'm going to generate the best lineup. I want to see what our team looks like right now before I use any of this other cash. So we're a 92 overall. Now, all free cards that you do get from packs, I'm going to keep on this lineup. For example, Warwick Dunn, Rob Gronkowski, which you just get for playing the game. Now, my offensive line actually looks really good, but we're missing a left tackle. My wide receivers are beautiful. Warwick Dunn isn't exactly a fullback I want, so we should work on that. Brian Robinson's awesome. Josh Dobbs. I have to get a quarterback. I have to get a quarterback that's not Josh Dobbs. Defensively, we got Sean Taylor, Chad Greenway, Sanborn Holcomb, Shaq Leonard, Cam Jordan, Tyson Brockers, Grady Jarrett. Ooh, and look at my safeties and corners. Holy shit. I didn't get a single strong safety yet. Amani Hooker Silver is in. Eric Allen, team captain, and then Tariq Castro Fields. Who the fuck is that guy? And obviously, Okuda is my starter, so we have to get corners. But I do have a kicker and a punter, thanks to Mission Mutt. We're pretty rounded, but definitely some work to do with a 92 overall. How am I going to get corners? 
Tredavious White is one of the limited, so he's probably a good guy to go for here. I'm gonna do the 17 times NFL draft bundle. If I can get my hands on another gold 99 from the set, I can also get three more 97s. I think that's my best case scenario, and I'm gonna quick sell all the dupes. John Ross and Terrence Marshall. Can't use you. I'll hang on to John Ross for a bit here. Bobby, Tanya, and Chase Young. Ooh, who is my tight end? Oh, it was Gronk. Is a free Gronk. I think I'd probably rather use Gronk. He's a lot bigger than Tanyan. So far, these NFL draft packs are nothing special right now. Although I pulled all those Michael Thomas strong safeties, and then I ended up using them in sets. So that's why I don't have a strong safety right now. So we can always go and get him again too. Another draft pack. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. We pulled 97 Okuda. Holy shit. Let's get it. All right. Hey, that puts us a hell of a lot closer to another goal 99. Great start. Ingram and Thomas, Godwin and Brockers. Our next pack is the 95 plus draft player. Probably just a 95, but hey, if we can boost it up, we get Quinn Miners. It's all right. We'll use him to grab another 97. This is a 97 plus. Our first 97 plus is 97 Rashad Perriman. Is this deja vu? Because last time we did the topper, it was a 97 and then a gold 99. Is this deja vu? Is this deja vu we got? Ooh. Kenyon Green, Rashad Perriman, Jeff Okuda. That is one guaranteed gold 99. What gold 99 do we want? Dude, as much as I want to get Erlacher as a user, I kind of want Cam at my QB. Cam's got to be a nasty QB, right? I'm going to get weird here. I'm actually going to take gold 99 Brian Erlacher. I am not taking gold 99 Cam. I just don't know why, but I don't want Cam as my QB. I just don't. I want somebody else. Now, luckily, we get three more 97s to choose from. I could take Tannehill. Am I really going to take Tannehill over fucking Cam Newton? I think temporarily Tannehill could be my QB. We grab OJ Howard and Boye Mafe. Ooh, this is so weird. But I actually really like it. So, my QB is going to be 97 overall Ryan Tannehill. Whoa, he's fast. Holy shit, he's fast. 93 speed? This is white chocolate Cam Newton. Man, that's Danny Dimes right there. I am not... Uh, IRL fan of uh, Ryan Tannehill, but he might be our pack and play savior. OJ Howard, six foot six, 98 speed. Are you shitting me? Holy fuck. I wish I had looked at this earlier. This is insane. That was definitely the right call. 96 speed outside linebacker. So probably put him at left outside linebacker and Greenway at right outside linebacker. This was actually definitely the right choice because now we also have an insane user in Brian Urlacher. I gotta take a PK gold 99 Brian Erlacher though. Cardar is beautiful. Excellent work, EA. A straight up 99 with 95 speed. Six foot four as a user is beautiful. 98 block shit, 99 hit powers. Change of direction. Ugh. Change of direction is not great. I'm not gonna lie. So he might not be the world's greatest user. I may down the line get a safety or free safety in as my user, but I'm still really excited at Brian Erlacher. Damn, what a hiccup, baby. We also have enough for a 95 overall draft player. I'm gonna grab Michael Thomas so I have a strong safety. All right, our new best lineup after that is now a 94 overall. Backfield is Tannehill and Brian Robinson. We got Metcalf, Marquise Goodwin, and Isaiah McKenzie. Offensive line looks a lot better, but still do not have a left tackle. So that kind of sucks. Left tackle's important. Well, no fucking shit. We got OJ Howard at tight end, which is nasty, but no backup tight ends right now. And then defensively, multi Multiple gold 99s in at linebacker. Greenway and Erlacher. Boye Mafe's on the other side. Michael Thomas, but still, I don't have corners. I have 4,900 Madden cash. I have to get my hands on some corners. I'm going to roll some of my training right now into the 91 plus NFL draft pack. I'm not really sure what corners are available, but we'll see if we can get anybody. Rerolls are dry right now. Just went about 10, 11 without anything special. I'm gonna stop here. I got a couple 93s and a 91. The good news is I know how to get a corner. The 95 fantasy pack, which will use some of the players I just got, has Steven Nelson and Jalen Johnson. So I'm gonna take Jalen Johnson right now. And now the 93 overall pack, which has a right tackle that we can move to left tackle. All right, one more time. Generate best lineup. Move to a 95 overall. Damn, we're starting out hot. So I'll move Lyle Collins to left tackle. And now Jermaine L. Humanor is my right tackle. Defensively, everything looks so, so good. Other than my CB3, who is 
Eric Allen. So we gotta go get Steven Nelson before I can start a game. A few more re-rolls and I'll be there. I just need 193. Ooh, he overshot at 95. I'm actually just gonna re-roll him because I already got him. Dude, I've built six Michael Thomases today. Hey, there's our 93. And Steven Nelson, perfect, perfect. All right, I'm satisfied with the lineup. I'll hang on to my training for another episode. Let's set abilities on all our players and go hop into our first game. All right, the lineup is complete on offense. I got Route Tech, Wide Receiver, Apprentice, and Deep Out Elite on DK. OJ Howard with Tight End, Apprentice, and Deep Out Elite. Tannehill with Pass Lead Elite and Dashing Deadeye. Connor Williams with five abilities. Brian Robinson with Bruiser Tank. And Goodwin with five abilities. Pretty dope. Really excited about those cards. Defensively, it was kind of weird. But I went Erlacher, Film Study, Crusher, Lurker. Greenway with Crusher, Edge Threat Elite. Sean Taylor with Mid Zone Crusher. Cam Jordan, Gold Line Stuff. Okuda with Acrobat, Pick Artist. Grady Jarrett with El Toro, Edge Threat Elite. Golston with Inside Stuff and Edge Threat Crusher on Shaq Leonard. Defensively, I would like to get in better corners, a better strong safety, and a really elite D tackle so I can get inside stuff and some other abilities there. But for now, it's just a little goofy looking, but I'm still really excited about it. And crazy enough, OJ Howard is a gold 99 slot wide receiver. So I have him in there. Should be fun. All right, a 95 overall team with our $300 budget. We retain 170K training, 4,900 Madden cash, and some players to sell. So that's a very, very good start. Honestly, three gold 99s out of that. All right, boys, game one for the pack and play squad. Gotta redeem ourselves. I didn't get a Super Bowl ring last season. It ended a lot quicker than it was supposed to, honestly. So let's go hard here. He's got Jalen Hurts, Fred Warner, Justin Jefferson, some team of the years on his squad. But we've got a three gold 99 top three. That's crazy, man. All right, boys. First and 10. Out the gates. Starting the game out getting sacked. That's always tough. I did have someone open across the middle, though. It was DK. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Second and 22. Goodwin's open. Yo, I got so many blockers over there. How are you getting home? All right, third and 22. We got some serious yards to pick up here, gentlemen. I'm going to take this. It's kind of a check down to Isaiah McKenzie, but at least it makes this manageable. Now fourth and 10. Ooh, I don't like this, boys. We're, it's already spooky. We just started. Fourth and 10. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go up to DK. I think... <laughs> What the fuck was that ball? How can I snap it? What? <laughs> Holy shit, we've turned the ball over already. Damn. Oh, I tried to come back to that. Couldn't get there fast enough. Could be a run play. Could be a run play. I'm ready with Brian Erlacher if it is. It's not a run play. He, wow, really found a window right there. Gotta be scared of the QB sneak here. I'm gonna run commit. Oh, is he passing? I think he's passing. Oh, wait, no, that is a run. I think. Good run commit. <laughs> Good run commit, I say, as he walks the ball in on a run. Yikes. Wow, man. I loaded the box, had all the boys there, and still marches in. All right, 7-0. I don't earn any cash for our squad if I can't win here, so let's figure it out. Let's figure it out, boys. We have to have a better drive here where this game's going to get real ugly real quick. I see OJ Howard. And we do make that pass. Dude, Tannehill is scaring me. We have pressure on us really, really fast. I guess I don't have edge protector on either side, though, so that's obviously a problem. We're going to do a little handoff here. And damn, Micah Parsons makes a very nice tackle. He can see my play. I don't think it matters. I think Marquise Goodwin is wide open here no matter what. Oh, maybe not. We got time. Oh, wait. Do it. Do it. Oh, <laughs> third and nine he saw he saw my adjustment i wonder if we can run the ball okay hey brian robinson third and nine pick up the first that is some sketchy shit but i'm very proud of the boys on that one all right should be a rollout right and hopefully howard's there no but goodwin is Ooh, isaiah mckenzie that you're not good with number one but number two how do you drop that ball come on man i need you OJ Howard, wide open. Wait a minute, that's 98 speed. It's 98 speed, let's go. All right, we're back on the board, baby. We're back on the board. Let's get a little worried there, but that's a nice offensive drive. Very proud of the boys. I'm gonna go for two. I'm just gonna run this ball to the left side. Fucking send it. Let's go, B-Rob, get there, get there. Get there, no way. You're shitting me. <laughs> you just have to reach the ball out with like, oh my God. 
You're so close to the plane there. How do you not get that is the question. Absolute bummer there, gentlemen. Absolute bummer. That's okay. Let's lock up. Oh, I could have picked that. I just barely mi- Ooh. Okay, that's good news. I love seeing that. You love seeing that. You know he's gonna make a mistake now. He's gonna throw left side. That was a smart throw. Ooh, did you just try to hurdle me? <laughs> you psycho. Does he have leapfrog on? That's the only way you try to hurdle me there. Do you have leapfrog? He does not have leapfrog. This man is just insane. First and ten. Erlacher, a sack! Let's go! Brian Erlacher. He rifles one. Oh my god, that was so close. To being picked. All right, let's jump into coverage. He's gonna try and playmaker the flash. Oh, let's go! That's what I like to see. A stupid pass. Sean T gets flagged down by Metcalf. I swear I've seen that before. But hey, that's exactly what I was thinking, man. He was making some questionable passes on that drive. I'm gonna go quick base. We're gonna run this football. Get behind the gentleman, and B Rob stays up. Oh, look at OJ Howard. That 98 speed, a little juke. I'll take it. This game's looking better and better. It's looking better and better. Started out real weak. No, he doesn't go to it. Exact same pass. I don't know. I don't know why you leave that twice, but that works for me. OJ. OJ! Who's going to explain that one to me? Who's going to explain that to me? What the? What? What? <laughs> In what universe can you drop that football? Like, just, just fucking how, man? How's it possible? Now I gotta settle for a field goal. Oh my god, it's a 97 overall tight end with the ball right in front of his face. The, the closest defender is two yards away. The fucker's got 99 catching. Wait, what do you need, 100? Do you need 100 catching to catch that? No way. No fucking way. And then you just get a walk right up the middle? Kick return? Oh, I love that you're showboating. I love that you're showboating, because I'm going to win this game despite all this shit. Got to try and tackle the Flash with Will fucking Lutz. Yeah, <sighs> karma. Beautiful karma. We love that. Way to step up and make a pass, though, Tannehill. That was spooky. Why is Joe Thomas in at tight end? And why can nobody block? All right, he starts ball after half. See if we can just kind of... Yup, no way, no way, no way, no way. I'm right there with Lurker. And Urlacher didn't animate. Are you shitting? What the fuck is going on? I don't get it. Oh, what? This is so ridiculous. Oh, I just perfectly read where he was going to throw. Jumped it with my user. Hey, 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 hey. Michael Thomas. Karma. Thank you. OJ Howard drops the pass. It's fourth and nine. Oh. OJ Howard on a sketchy fourth and nine pass is going to pick up the first. Jesus. Okay, they rush to the edges. Excellent blocking. I'm going to have to keep picking up the run game here. Howard's got him by a little bit. Oh, no, he does not. I'm going to give Metcalf a post. That might do it here. Oh, Metcalf. Yes, sir! Beautiful fourth and nine. I just had to do fourth and nine twice on this one drive just to stay afloat. First and ten, I'm running this football. Interesting. It kind of seems like he ran commit. Ooh, look at Goodwin. Great separation, great catch. Down to the 12. I'm just... If I can score here, I'll just barely take the lead. This game has been a nightmare, man. A nightmare. He has a fucking kick return touchdown. Nobody touched him. I gotta get this win for the pack and play squad. Oh, I gotta cut this up. Jesus. I'm gonna motion DK as a distraction. And I think I'm gonna go OJ Howard here if I can. Oh, I can. Hey! Oh, that was cheeky as fuck. Woo! That was a scary one. Big scary one. Yeah, we take a three-point lead here with a PAT. It's so massive that he missed his PAT. So now he is he is forced to get in the end zone if he wants to beat me. Or he could send it to overtime. But a 14-play, 87-yard, four-minute drive with two fourth and nine conversions. That's a hell of a drive. Woo! All right, first and 10. Let's see what he does here. Big hit! Yup! Exactly what I'm looking for. You can keep throwing that. Three minutes left in the ball game. He's chewing clock. There is no shocker there. He gets a delay of game. It's now first and 15. Yeah, he's trying to chew the clock and score with no time left, understandably. Let's see if it works for him. I don't think he runs this now. Yeah, he doesn't. 
<laughs> he did the thing where you press A too fast. <laughs> oh, weren't you showboating, buddy? I vividly remember you showboating. Oh, I, I vividly recall you were showboating on a kick return touchdown. Oh, I, I, I could have sworn when you had that bullshit kick return touchdown that you were showboating your ass off down there. Yeah? Did we forget about that when you shut your Xbox off? I am sure we did. One dub to start out pack and play squad. Let's get it, boys. So that adds $75 to the bank. And since it's a rage quit, we get one of any pack in the store. I'm so glad that was a rage quit. What a beautiful game. Honestly, the mission mutt pack has the best return on coins. I'm pretty much just going to get 91s, but I'll take the training for them. You really... No fucking way. Was that 96 Bailey Zappy? Holy shit. Yo! I'm just going to quick sell him. I'll take the training. That was huge. All right, the rage quit paid off big time with 120,000 training. Number one thing I noticed from that game that we need to do for next episode is get a left and right tackle with edge protector. All right, boys, normally I'd play two games, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little on tilt right now. I don't know why. And I know if I play another game, I'm gonna be too frustrated and I might not win. And I always wanna be in a good mood when I'm playing. So we're gonna end this pack and play episode off with just one game, but it's a dub, a rage quit. We got a pack and I'm feeling Feeling really good next episode with $75 in the bank, 300k training, and 4,900 Madden cash. I really want to get myself a left and right tackle and potentially a new quarterback. Tannehill was fucking haywire out there, man. He was scaring me. Hey, either way, boys, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.